Running out of helium. The sun constantly emits helium and the solar wind spread it around, but it's pretty hard to extract from the air, so most of the helium we use on Earth is extracted from rocks. Now, most of the supply on Earth from the last several billion years is sitting in Texas, stored in an underground salt dome, and the US has been selling it for cheap because it's so expensive to store. As a result of selling it for so cheap though, we could run out any decade now. Helium is used for all kinds of things besides just balloons. Computer chip fabrication, food production, cryogenic research, fusion research, the list goes on. The promoted industry standard solution appears to be to increase the price of helium, which could help to extend the length of supply, though perhaps reducing frivolous use, which would be a crying shame. A couple of other ways to go here. Nitrous is a well-known cure for crying shames. DIY is another. NASA is not beating around the bush on the search of more stuff, and now they are not hiding behind the bush either. Check out the NASA JPL account on Ustream for a live webcam broadcast of the next Mars rover being built. Hmm, not a lot happening right at the moment. Let's see some highlights. Sweet. Looking for even more do-it-yourselfish than that? Virgin Galactic is now booking. A mere $200,000 and three days of pre-flight preparation could get you into a microgravity situation with the new title of astronaut. Deposits of $20,000 are being accepted now for lunch dates. I mean launch dates, next year. And in bonus support, flying is actually said to be more green than driving. Not sure about all that spew generated from today's fusionless rocket rides, but with regards to commercial jet airliners and despite conventional wisdom, cars are worse on the environment than airplanes on a kilometre per passenger basis, especially over time. Or just go there even cheaper. With virtual reality, during dinner, on a big table iPhone. Hey, this is where it's at. That's what I was trying to say last week. The future is digital and the biggest companies in the world are on a massive land grab, not seen in size since World War II, and even now updated with an Apple suit back at Motorola. And I think that's why, luckily, it's a no-go on gene patents. But what about meme patents? 